Oh, she, okay, all right, all right. Look at those fangs, my goodness. It is nighttime, which means it is time for a nighttime feeding video. And so yeah, we are going to feed a bunch of tarantulas tonight and I actually have gummy worms on the menu. I've been growing these out for a minute. They're still not the hugest, but I think they're like the perfect size for the tarantulas that we are going to be feeding them to today. Before we continue, I did want to give a shout out to Cuddle Clones. Cuddle Clones was kind enough to send me two pajama sets. So this one has Poe on it and then I also got a really cute long sleeve, long pants set with tulip on it and I love them both so much they're super comfy and adorable and I just think it's so funny that I match my dog so if you guys want to get a pet PJ set just like this I will link them down below check it out it is an affiliate link and I also have an affiliate code so if you do shop with them and you use the affiliate link or code that does help me out but yeah anyway let's go ahead and get into feeding the spiders So since it is nighttime, we are going to have to rely on artificial light. It's not always the best, but we do what we gotta do here. So this first one I wanted to feed is hilariously small, but I picked it up because I have like the teeniest, tiniest little hornworm and I just wanted to see if this youthless will actually take it. I've uh, never tried feeding <laughs> this one a hornworm, but it's so little. We will see. Oh, are you scared of it? What if I just drop it like right? Oh, I think it's scared of it. So I'm gonna actually leave the worm in there because I do feel like it'll take it eventually. Let's move on to somebody that probably will eat. And that somebody is Miss Maple, my wolf spider. Last time I fed her one of these, she was so confused and not into it. So I'm just really curious if she'll try taking it this time. Look, they're best friends. Hold hands. Miss Mabel. Maybe she's just not a gummy worm girl. Do they like freak you out? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. She like ran up the tongs and jumped off. What the heck? She has a fear of these. Like seriously, there's there's something about these she does not like. I'm sorry, Mabel. She's so scared. What? Why is everybody afraid of these today? This one is a little bit of a toss up. I really hope we don't freak it out because it is an old world and it is related to the infamous OBT tarantula. This is a P. Ligardi. I don't know. I've never given this one a gummy worm and it was out and it's recently molted. So I thought we could try. <sighs> All right, this is a gamble. It could get scared and run out. Oh, thank you. Thank you, little guy. This thing is getting big. And yes, I do still have nibbles, my OBT. You guys ask me periodically if I do. Let's keep going. I wanna do a couple small ones. So these are a couple tarantulas you guys have not seen in a minute. Probably not since I've done these 360 enclosures. But yeah, these are both my Davis Pentaloras. Maybe I'll just drop this one like there and see what happens. It looks like it just molted, so. Oh, I don't think I've ever given these ones gummy worms. So this is like a first for them. Ooh, this one's this one's coming out. It's got a paw on it. Look at it. Oh, what about you? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, oh, there we go. See, that wasn't so hard. Ooh, look at that butt. Let's do some Grandma Stolas next. They actually tend to be decent eaters. This one is just like coming on out. This is my Grandma Stola Iheringi. I wonder if we will tong feed. I bet we will. Oh, look at that. Yes. <laughs> and some of their water dishes are getting moldy for some reason, so I thought I would just like remove them and replace them as we go along. I only have these little ones for now, but they will do. All right, let's stick with the Grandma Stola trend and we are going to do my Grandma Stola Acteon. Very similar looking Grandma Stola species, slightly different. I love this species though. They are just absolutely beautiful, very velvety and fuzzy. And, oh, look at that. Great eaters, fantastic. Is the Grandma Stola genus really gonna carry this video today? I think it might. 
All right, so next we are going to do my second favorite Grandma Stola species. First favorite is Grandma Stola pulchra. Second favorite is Grandma Stola grossa. I bet we can get a pretty awesome feeding response out of this one too. Oh my goodness. Vicious. <laughs> Not really vicious though. Actually, they're probably just pretty hungry. Like their abdomens look a good size, but I haven't fed them in a little bit. Okay, I believe I have one more Grandma Stola species with me today. It is a rose hair, Grandma Stola rosea. This girl is beautiful, a little skittish. Ah, as you see, she runs. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at the light catching the hairs on her. Oh wow, she is so pink and rosy. Yes, there's dirt in her water. It's okay to have dirt in her water because trust me, the first thing they do when you give them water is put dirt in it. Okay, I don't know if this one's gonna eat. It looks like it just recently molted. Oh, and we are on the run. Well, I forgot that it's like connected, like the web is like connected. This is my D diamantinensis female. Now I'm gonna drop a hornworm in here. If she's not ready for it, it's not gonna hurt her, so it's fine, but. It does look like she is going to want it, so. Oh, look at those fangs. Oh, wow. Can't tell if it's because she's hungry or if she's mad. Look at her. Oh my God, she is gorgeous. And let me tell you, this lighting is not as beautiful as like daylight, but like. Oh, she, okay, all right, all right. Look at those fangs, my goodness, my goodness. Miss ma'am, calm down. All right, I'm gonna give her a good little spray down and we will leave that worm in there and see if she wants it. I can't tell, it, it's very mixed. It might be too soon, but. Now it's time for a browser break. Let's try this. I don't know, I don't know how this one's gonna go. This is my avicularia, avicularia. Oh. Okay, very cool. I'm surprised. Sometimes avicularia are kind of weird about tong feeding. I'm surprised this plant is still doing well. I'm not exactly sure what kind of plant it is. I'm sure somebody could comment it, but it doesn't really get much sunlight and it seems to be doing okay, so. This one's gonna eat. Pamphibedius species Machala. Question is, will we get a good feeding shot? Cause it's hiding, so. First we're gonna take this out cause this looks gross. It looks like we threw some of our molt in there. Icky, icky. I must have ruined. Oh, there we go. I kind of ruined that. That one was my fault. Nice. Okay, we only have like four more. They are bigger ones and I am kind of running out of the larger hornworms. This is one of my favorite species and I'm actually going to be doing a video a little bit more on depth than this species soon, but it's my Ophonopilma stein Dictionary. I think I say it different every time I say it, but it is a black Ophonopilma, I believe from California. I feel like this one is kind of weird about worms. I think she threat poses them a lot. Looks like we're probably gonna get a threat pose. Now she will eventually eat, but 
<laughs> she has to threat pose it for like at least 15 minutes before she thinks about eating it every time. She also does the same thing to water. I don't know if they're all like this. I'm gonna get a couple more soon, so we'll find out together. I do have some nicer Afono Pelmas with me today. That's okay. Oh no! No, 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 I got you food, I got you food. Oh, yum, 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 take it. Yum. Oh, there we go. Do another? Oh! She's like so gentle. This is my Aphonopilma Annex. Okay, so we have another Aphonopilma species. This is my Aphonopilma hensi, and this is the species of Tarantula here in Missouri. And she just recently molted, but like, you guys, she's like hiding under this water dish and something that I really hate. She like lives under it and I just, I don't like it because I'm scared it's gonna fall on her so I think I'm gonna move it. Feel bad for messing up her home, but. Anyway, she molted recently. I wanna try to feed her. Oh! She took it. <laughs> right here seems like pretty decent. Perfect. Speaking of molting, we also have one more tarantula and this one recently molted and will for sure eat. This is my Acanthoscaria geniculata. Oh my goodness, look how big. I've had this one literally since it was this big. It was one of my first tarantulas. It's probably like my first like intermediate species. Now I still don't know if we are male or female. I'm gonna guess female. Look at her. Okay, I'm gonna give her a couple because she just molted. She's larger and a lot of these worms are a little bit small on the small side, so. Doop. Delicious, that's one. Do you want another? Oh my goodness, I messed up. I'm Okay, she got it, she got it, she good, she's good. Okay, I would hide too, that was a little embarrassing. But thank you for eating so this video doesn't completely go off on a bad, on a bad note. I feel like the past couple feeding videos have just not gone amazing. Eh, this one wasn't too bad, like I think a lot ate. I don't know if I got the best feeding shots for everyone, but that that's on me, so yeah. You would think after all this time, I would be getting better at this and not worse. Anyway, uh, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably too much, it's at cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, and it's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pit.